Well, it's uh, Sunday morning, July 18th. Going to head up to meet my dad in an old park. He found a guy's detector, so we'll go up there and uh, we're going to have a little hunt today. Hopefully, we find something old today. Uh, if not, maybe he'll get mad and you can see him wrap his detector around a tree or something. So, <laughs> so. Found this old spoon the other day, silver plating. I didn't find it with a detector, found it in the neighbor's uh, woods in a creek. So, anyway, we'll get back at you when we get to the park. There's an old early archaic uh, site back here, a tree line along the creek. Back here is where I, uh, me and my grandpa used to hunt when I was a kid. Got a lot of, uh, well, my grandpa used to find a lot of thieves' points back here for all you arrowhead hunters that are interested. In the new park here, the other park didn't turn up so well. It's been bulldozed and everything, so this old, old one here, we'll try and see uh, if we find anything. It's starting to rain. But it's been sprinkling all morning, so just stepped out of the car and found a 11 cents and one memorial and a clad dime. So get back with you. 67 dime. A little red fire ants in there. I don't know if it's just me or, or anybody else noticed this. Every time you find red ants, it smells like pine saw. That really sucks. I don't like these uh, inner city parks. Yeah, we got rained out. I'm gonna try to go this evening if it's not raining. I'm gonna go down home where I live, down there in God's country. Try to get out of this big city here. Uh, anyway, this park here wins the award for the uh, most uh, bottle caps and most trash in any park in North America. Found uh, two clad dimes, a memorial scent, and 5,000 bottle caps, so. It's an old park. My dad used to come here when my grandpa played horseshoes when he was a kid. I had high hopes for it, but it didn't turn out, so there's just too many, too many bottle caps out there. So yeah, if it ain't raining when I get home this evening, uh I'll go up where I live so we can find something. Well, I finally left the big city and back in God's country. Glad to get out of that town. I don't like that town. I don't like anybody that does. Heading home, quit raining. Try to get some stuff done at home today. Maybe I'll come back out tonight somewhere and uh, try to get something, leave something interesting on this video. Found some arrowheads in that field before. That tree line right there, that's uh, Arrowhead Creek down there. It's all good, good arrowhead hunting down through here. There's Arrowhead Creek again. Right up here in this field, to those trees that you can't see. Anyway, I found my first and only uh, paleo point back here on a hillside. Uh, yeah, not that hill, but that hill kind of in front of that woods. There's a ridge over there. I found a paleo point. I think it's a quad along there. And then there's a bunch of woodland points and some archaic points I found this area and all along through here uh, up here is a bunch of houses and stuff on the right but better there now but my grandpa used to hunt there and he found a lot of stuff but it's all people's yards and stuff now and up here's the finds for this morning two clad quarters two memorials three clad dimes about nine million of those, most of them I threw away. Two of those dimes here that are shiny, I found them about four inches. I thought they were silver when I first pulled them up. I got excited for nothing, but I'll try to get out there this evening. If not, uh, I'll put this video on of me uh, rambling on and stuff. Had an old park with my neighbor. Evening hunt here, July 18th. See if we can find something here before it gets dark or rains on us again. What are the finds for the day? Seven memorials, one clad dime, copper washer, 
copper wire, pull tabs, piece of lead. I think it's a mounted, mounted piece of aluminum. My neighbor found a clad quarter, state of Connecticut. Didn't do as good as we thought we would, but be back here maybe in the morning.